Now it's time to go inside the Lancers, presented by Magnolia Heating and Cooling. It's the head basketball coach at California Baptist, Rick Croy. And coach, correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like you guys have had the excitement, uh, like a, a season's long worth of excitement wrapped in just the first couple weeks of the year where you've played, the kind of games you've played, uh, being on ESPN Sports Center, triple overtime games. I mean, can you kind of, you know, put into words what the first couple of weeks of the season ha have been like? Because you guys, it's been a whirlwind for you guys. Yeah, crazy is probably the right word. It's, uh, it's been a lot going on, a lot of great opportunities, and uh, we've learned from all of them. So it's been exciting. Oh my goodness, a buzzer beating half court shot wins it for Cal Baptist. You play on the road at number six Nevada. You have a buzzer beater at Oral Roberts. You got a tri triple overtime game against uh, Arkansas Pine Bluff. Uh, it, when you look back on these first couple weeks of the season, how do you think maybe this team has matured, grown, come together during this time? Well, we've, we've definitely been in the fire. You know, a lot of tough games uh, that have come right down down to the wire and the goal is to is to learn from all those experiences to keep getting better and to carry those with you into conference so uh, we've got more opportunities before we jump into whack play but I think we're getting better it's it is really good to get home and get back to practice and get back to uh, the weight room and and focus on the things we need to do as a team to take that next step forward but there's no question I mean it, it would have been very difficult to predict that we would have gained all those experiences uh, just on one trip, it was a you know it was a wild trip, 14 days away from home. Uh, but it'll be it'll be, it's something our guys will always remember. Can you draw some positives just being away from home for that long? I mean, that, your team's forced to get together, right? I mean, you're you're living, you're eating together, you're constantly with each other. Yeah, yeah, we've got a tight group. Uh, they really enjoy being around each other. They're fun to coach. Um, there there were so many positives to take away from it. Uh, and again, I think. One of our goals is to get better the entire way and to be playing our best basketball season at the end. And, and we've got to reflect uh, for a short while here on this trip, figure out what we can take from it, but uh, a ton of great experiences. Now, you know, there are some familiar names from last season's team that have carried over to, to this year's squad, but Milan Aqua, a Washington State transfer, can you talk about what he has meant to this team? Because obviously, as soon as you inserted him into the lineup, he's instant offense. He, he's kind of a, a different kind of guy. Yeah, he's played really well. I think our program has been a great fit for him. Uh, he's playing with a ton of confidence, gives his teammates confidence. His leadership's been outstanding. And he's, he's played well already on the road, uh, which is one of the steps you got to take as, as a great player is, you know, obviously you got to be able to do it on your home floor, but you got to be, be able to go on the road and lead your team. He's done that in some tough environments, and I think he can get a lot better. Well, Thursday night, you, you play on the road at UC Riverside, which I, you know, I use on the road very loosely because it's across the street. But, um, you know, when you, when you look at this game, I know you're friendly with Coach David Patrick. Yeah. Are you excited about this matchup, what, what it means for the local community, what it means for Riverside, and potentially, you know, a nice win on, for CBU on uh, Thursday night? Yeah, we're excited about the game. I think, you know, there's a lot of people in the community that are talking about it, and if, if the game wasn't taking place, there'd be a lot of enthusiasm, uh, you know, that everyone would be missing out on. I think there's, there's going to be a great turnout. I think it's good for basketball in the community. I think it's good for UCR and CBU and things moving forward in both programs, uh, trying to build something special. So I think Thursday night's a really, really good night. So you got the Highlanders on Thursday and then back home, finally, again, after what your season opener, right? You played yeah. here against San yeah, Diego Christian. You've been gone. Yep. So now you'll play, uh, is it Mississippi Valley State? It is. Yep. Sunrise uh, on the weekend. What's it like playing in this gym? Because the event center, it, you're building something that's very unique. Not a lot of places have the kind of atmosphere, the kind of environment that you guys enjoy. Yeah, you know, I think we gained an even greater appreciation for what we have uh, going on the road. And, and sometimes you learn things on the road that you're, you know, again, they're, they're hard to predict. But, um, you know, we went on the road. We played at Nevada, which obviously had a great environment. Uh, you know, probably a, a top 20 type of environment in the country with what they've got going, 10,000 season ticket holders, and just a really, really good atmosphere and culture. But, you know, we played at some other places that uh, they, they don't have what we have here, and I think our guys recognized that and realized uh, how special uh, the opportunity that they have here is and, and what we're building together. So 
we can't wait to get back home. Uh, we're one for one in terms of sellouts and, and really, really strong uh, environments uh, for the community. So we're looking forward to get that going back again on Saturday. And finally, Coach, uh, you know, you kind of alluded to, you know, preparing for whack play. You know, what are some areas that you just want to see this team maybe clean up, improve on, get better before you have that first conference game? We've got to defend better. We've got to defend better uh, in a number of areas. But, you know, we're a program that's uh, – we've got a blue-collar work ethic. Uh, we pride ourselves on competing very hard uh, and together. And usually – uh, that's best represented on the defensive end of the floor. So uh, that's what we've got to do. That's our task this week is, is to get back to, to being working towards becoming a great defensive team. And it, it's a journey. Sometimes it takes a while to learn your team even on that end of the floor. But it's a great challenge and, and one that these guys are accepting and embracing. Well, let me piggyback one more question off that because the offense, I think, is averaging, what, 80 or 81 a game, something like that. Are you pleased on the offensive end, what, you, what you've seen so far? Yeah, I think our guys are playing with a lot of confidence. Uh, we're sharing the ball well. We're attacking in the right spots. Um, I think we can get more offense out of our defense if we step up our level of aggression and some other things like that. But uh, it's, it's a fun team to coach. Uh, obviously, we would have liked to have gotten a few more dubs on the road trip, but again, I think a lot of these road trips, uh, especially early on, are what you can take from them. So lots of things to learn from, some, some big building blocks moving forward, and it's time to get after it. All right, that's California Baptist head coach Rick Roy as we go inside the Lancers, presented by Magnolia Heating and Cooling. Thanks, Pep.